is going on? What is going on? Man, I have had no free time lately. Um, so while we are watching this, we're gonna have some kind of like Nate talks whilst we watch this shit. Um, so basically, I don't even know what to say. Like, so Guilty Gear is uh, obviously it's coming out in two weeks, and I still, as far as I'm aware, I do actually have to go check. But as far as I'm aware, I have not actually pre-ordered the game yet. I have not done it. I have not taken any action. I'm not pre-ordered a PS4 stick. I'm not pre-ordered uh, the game, and it just occurred to me that like, what am I doing here? I am sitting here assuming that I am going to love Guilty Gear. That that is just a foregone conclusion. That there is nothing that will hinder uh, the, the potential relationship between us. Except it's Arc System Works. And uh, we know, we know my job, I, I don't no need to get into it, but we know what my general opinion of that company has been lately. And so I'm sitting here potentially looking to spend in $200 plus shipping plus tax on a PS4 arcade stick alongside $60 for a game that I don't even know if I'm going to like it. So that may be a waste because obviously they're the only fighting game that I'm aware of that's coming out soon is Mortal Kombat X, which like I am actually interested in because it doesn't look like complete shit like every other Mortal Kombat has looked like previously. And so, um, I'll, actually, I am interested in looking into that, but I don't know if I'm going to want to play it. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. And so, you know, I don't know if I'm going to want to buy a stick for that either. And it's just this, all this, uh, doubt and uncertainty. It's like, you don't want doubt and uncertainty when you're potentially dropping 200 plus dollars on something unless you make, like, $200 a day and that's not a problem. I don't, unfortunately, much as I might enjoy it, I do not make $200 a day. Um, and so I don't, I can't really, it's just kind of a bad idea for me to be looking at, at buying that. And so I've actually kind of just, I'm now I'm just debating, do I want to just game fly it or do I want to buy it? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm filled with doubt. It's nothing but doubt in my mind, but because it's just a bunch of like factors like, you know, what if, uh, surely he could have killed. That was a bad idea. That actually wasn't all that bad. I thought he was going to get beat out clean. <laughs> that was cool. The ball came back and hit him in the face. Damn, he had ages. Um, but so. The fucking fish hook. The fucking fish hook, man. The epitome of a Marvel move. Has like a 980 degree angle on it. It's so good it doesn't even follow the usual laws. I thought maybe it looked like the cart might have like run through the projectile. That would have been hilarious if the cart just like nullified that shit. Well that homie just lost. So that's a shame. Why did you... Why would you... This dude is just not smart. I don't even play Dormammu, and I could have told you, like, all you have to do is charge the meteors, and he's dead. He's dead from chip, no matter what. Nothing gonna be happening there but chip damage. Um, but yeah, it's just, I think it's actually kind of amusing that, uh, all of the games lately that I have really been like, man, I'm really gonna enjoy this, I'm really gonna love it, end up being kinda just eh, overall. And for this one, for, uh, for what I mean there, is actually Dragon Age Inquisition. I really trusted in Bioware, man. They were, they were my team. They were my dudes. I thought they could do no wrong, but damn, Dragon Age Inquisition was a mediocre game. Like, they spent, basically, they spent too much time trying to turn their game into an op kind of a more open world, larger territories to explore in. And I feel like everything else that they are known for suffered. The main game story was barely there. It was pretty straightforward and dull the entire time. Um, none of the party members were particularly compelling. I didn't really like any of them. Fine, I didn't want to jump. Oh, I see. It's just laggy. 
darn, I thought I actually might have been able to get through that by forward dashing. Whoa, that was not what we wanted. God damn, okay, yeah, this this is just, I mean, you can see it, like, freezing and shit. This is just bad, son. Oh, wow, I didn't, I was watching Dante the whole time, I didn't even pay any attention to Zero. Cross up. Oh my god, Zero's such a stupid character. Can't block that offline, good luck getting doing anything about it online. Thankfully, he's not going to kill me, because he's not going to be doing any kind of lightning loops in this connection. And then I mash on throw like a scrub. I don't know what else to do in lag, man. Like, I can barely play this game in the first place. I tried the bionic arm way too fucking late. Technically, Hawkeye does beat Dormammu. My Hawkeye doesn't beat Dormammu, but technically the character does. He's flying. Fuck me, I'm not paying any kind of attention. I might be able to... Aw, oh, darn. I thought I might have been able to slide through that and beat it. Obviously not! And we're dead. So yay! Online Marvel! Lagfest! Love it! So much fun! But yeah, so Dragon Age Inquisition is just... It was a game. It had that going for it, I guess. But that really, I honestly, that's the first... I mean, everybody shit on Dragon Age 2. Everybody and their mother shit on Dragon Age 2. And I understand the complaints. There were some very valid complaints regarding that game. And, uh... And actually, it, the complaints of that game were the most significant problem with this game, actually. Because, from what I remember, the loudest complaints about that game were recycled territories, lack of real exp exploration, and just how the environments really didn't mean anything. And so this entire game was an effort to make the environments mean something, and it sacrificed everything else. Like I said, story, characters, side mission story stuff, like it was all just, it was like I was playing something that was trying to be more of an MMO. You know, collect these materials so you can craft this shit. Fetch quests everywhere. Um, uh, you know, it's just, that's all that it was, was just constant, non-stop, MMO level gameplay. Which is fine, I understand that some people like that. Like, that was one of the games that actually was basically like an offline MMO um, for the Wii. What was that called? Xenoblade Chronicles? I can't remember if it was Z It was Xenoblade Chronicles. It was either Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles or The Last Story, but Xenoblade Chronicles is the one I'm thinking of. That was very MMO-like as well, in terms of the execution of the quests and stuff and everything to do with it. But, um... Why would you do that? That one? Oh, I guess the cart is considered a projectile, yeah, so it makes sense. Um... What the fuck is that? I'm getting distracted from a point. Obviously, a ton of people treated that like it was an amazing game. I hated that game. I couldn't stand it. It was just, it was boring to me. But a lot of people enjoy... Of course, a lot of people have to enjoy that gameplay for World of Warcraft having been one of the most popular games in the world for as long as it's been. But that's, I don't, personally, I don't enjoy that. I don't like it at all. And so, I really feel, that's the first Bioware game that I have ever played that I will not play through multiple times. That's the very first one. I played through Dragon Age twice. Dragon Age 2 twice. How many times? I played? probably played through Dragon Age Inquisition like five, six times. Back in the days when I had all the time in the world, right? Because high school don't mean shit. You can do whatever you want back in them days. Ooh, that was kind of sick. Please don't get gunlitted. Yeah, you can't do it twice. Oh, well, that was stupid. You can't do anything after a push block against Hawkeye, man. It's just a death sentence. You're just asking for a death sentence if you do anything except anything that you can get punished for full screen. Tatsu after a push block? Please. Son. But yeah, so I'm really, I'm just not feeling... 
I have no faith right now in Arc System Works, and that is making me not want to uh, risk anything in regard to like because I'm also thinking, you know, what if they fu like what if there's something finicky about the cross console connection? Because obviously there is no way in hell that um do it. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to compete. I don't want to play a Nova Mirror match either. Fuck it, let's do it. Why the fuck not, right? Let's have some fun. Um, but you know what? What if they can't? What if they can't do it right? What if there's something fucked up about the cross console connection? Obviously, the majority of people are gonna purchase the PS3 version of Guilty Gear. There's no question about that. And so I'm. Would rather stay safe. Oh, hey, this connection actually doesn't feel half bad. Whoa, what the hell? Whee! Oh, I tried to dash and then block. Oh, that was cool. Oh, see, but now X23 is dead again. Just like that. Just like that, she's dead again. Damn this character! I'm fucked too, I can't do anything with Deadpool. Damn, he's even at an angle. Yeah, obviously that was an overhead. I didn't block it because I'm smart. Oh, there's nothing I can Yeah, I should not have back tech. Alright. Gimmicks, what are you gonna do, right? Come on, Marvel! I just complimented this connection. You go and do that? What the fuck was that? How did you do a normal? How did you do... Whatever. Everything there was like I didn't had no intention of actually doing. Fuck that. Oh, come on. You can't get a throw off of that? Really? I was right next to him. There's no way that's a zero frame move. Whatever. What are you going to do? Fighting games. Welcome to them. If you fight against somebody that plays the game and has a gimmicky team, you're going to lose to that team at least like three or four times. Probably more like ten in a game like Marvel, because that's fucking Marvel, where you make one mistake and you're just dead completely. Um, but yeah, that was just... I'm actually really... Maybe it just was too far away. I should have just mashed on light to be safe. But I thought for sure I was going to get an air throw there. And I didn't. Um... Man, so that's just... I'm just worried that Guilty Gear is not going to be what I'm expecting it to be. And so it's stupid of me to drop that much money on a game that I don't even know if I'm going to like it or not. It's ridiculous. But yeah, so the other disappointment was actually, uh, I remember, well, I paid zero attention to PC gaming uh, in general, but I'm sure everybody remembers Spore. You know, Spore was supposed to be, you know, the huge, just huge, like, world shattering game that was going to change everything right everything was going to change once this game dropped because it was going to be amazing and i didn't pay obviously i should have known that like the complete lack of like of oh, it's such a bad idea to do that again Um, but yeah, so Spore was on sale, and obviously I've recently gotten a Steam, uh, not really that recently, but it's been a while, I, ha I haven't seen Spore on sale, I haven't really paid attention to it, and so I finally bought it, played it, god damn, that game sucks. <laughs> Man, another massive disappointment, another massive disappointment of this fucking connection. Why am I even here? Why did I think that had armor? I don't know why I thought his standing S had armor. Obviously it doesn't. That wasn't supposed to be another air throw. 
I guess I don't get to air throw. But it's okay. Boing! God damn this connection. Where was my armor? Sun armor. Oops, that was my fault. I just didn't block low. I might have been too late, actually. Nope. Nope. Fuck. I'm so good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I should just go die in shame. Fuck's sake. Had the bad connection. What we thought was a good connection it ended up being shit. And that was just complete trash. Alright, y'all enjoy your lack of participation in here. We're gonna go look for something else. That was just bad. I should have known, like... I should just look, basically I should just look at that stream, I look at that stream, look at that uh, lobby, and just see like, okay, there's two people in here playing, there's five people watching, fuck it, just leave, like just bail, it's not even fucking worth it. Oh, what's that dude's flag? What's the, the top one? I should know that, isn't that an English? No. I don't know why I said English when I meant European, but I don't think... I don't think any of the European countries have a horizontal green stripe in their flag. I know a bunch of them have the vertical one. I was thinking, like, cause a bunch of the, uh, um, um, oh, I can't look it up. My internet is not, oh, that's a story. Well, actually, it's not really a story because I'm telling it in uh, another, well, whatever. You're going to have to hear it again. Uh, my ethernet cable, god damn it. Oh, my ethernet cable somehow, I don't know how it happened, it's just, at some point in time, it happened. The little plastic piece at the end, uh, the little clip that secures it in whatever ethernet port you're sticking it into, that part got snapped off at some point in time, so, like, it's no longer, it still works, like, I can still stick it into slots and stuff, and, um, it'll connect to the internet properly and whatnot, but if there's any sort of jostling with it whatsoever then it gets pulled out it uh this is just i am using all kinds of just suggestible suggestive i need to sleep i should just sleep i'm using all kinds of suggestive language right now that i'm sure is not going to be made fun of in any way shape or form <laughs> pulling out sticking it in um but oh no go away your connections suck balls ah um so the ethernet cable no look it's fine when it's in one of my consoles obviously because i don't move my consoles around at all but when i have it in my laptop it's a problem because i am constantly moving my laptop around to either adjust where i'm sitting uh whatever i'm you know putting it on my lap putting it somewhere else like on a table or something whatever it's all over the damn place so it is constantly falling in and out of that shit it's the most oh i hate it I hate everything, and I need to. I need a. I need a new one. I need a new one, and I still have the same wireless problems. I just. I haven't really cared enough. I guess that's what it, it's. What it always comes down to. Like, you should always just get something fixed the moment it happens. Otherwise, something. It's something worse is gonna happen down the line. That's gonna make the situation like 20 times worse. So you need to take the grace period between the first thing breaking and the second thing breaking, uh, to get the first thing fixed. So when the second thing breaks, if it breaks at all. Then it won't be that much of a problem but so i haven't called anybody out i haven't bothered going through customer service with my uh isp because it's just it's not worth it it wasn't worth the trouble at the time but now when my ethernet cable is fucked and i could use solid wireless i know i don't have solid wireless anymore and so all of these things just compounding themselves <sighs> and to top it all off i had to come here and play this game and make a damn fool of myself but I've shelved Persona 4 Arena. It's up on the shelf now. Once a fighting game goes up on the shelf, it never comes down. That's a lie. I sh I've shelved Street Fighter. I've shelved Marvel. But I also... I You know, despite as often as I bitch about this game and how bad the online is... I still love the game. Like, it's... 
that's it's the fighting game that I have easily put the most hours of my life into. Uh, and despite the fact that online is just a generally painful, worthless experience, it can still be fun at times, and it doesn't discount the fact that I know I love this game, just not in an online environment. But I want to get a, I want to get a taste of that love again, man. I gotta go running back and get that high that Marvel gives me. Huh? Oh. I'm not getting it. I get nothing but pain and suffering. I need more, man. I need more. Hook me up, brother. Need a proper dealer with a proper internet connection. Shit. And a proper timely motherfucker. Nobody likes these dudes that show up late. Is why this motherfucker right over here let the time run down. This homie never gonna amount to nothing. Never gonna amount to nothing. You don't make nobody wait for 60 seconds on your dumb ass. Uh, that looks like a random select team though. If it isn't, it's a shitty team. Well, both of them look like random select teams, actually. Nobody uses Cap anymore. Did anybody use... Oh, that is a Ray. Okay, so that dude's just not there. So that's even worse. Motherfucker didn't even show up for work, let alone showing up late. He just sent in a dummy that's gonna stand there and look stupid. Why'd you keep jumping in jail? Out of all the moves in this motherfucker's arsenal, you use stand in jab, jump in jab? That's Oki, bro. I just, I just realized that was the shittiest Oki I've ever seen, but he just did that incredibly shitty Oki against a dude that's not even there. Good job. <laughs> oh, god damn. Just keep him in the corner and do some kind of fancy 100% corner combos. Jesus Christ, dog. You can't even complete a call. Come on, man. He's a training dummy right now. I'm being judgmental as fuck, but I couldn't do combos either. <laughs> Man, I just I don't have enough time in my life anymore. That was the one good thing. Like everybody always says, like enjoy your high school years or enjoy your college years while they last, because once you get out into the real world, it's so that's bullshit. High school and college suck. The only thing that's good about it is if you have a hobby that is some kind of ridiculous time waster. And that's not really a good thing in and of itself, but obviously as a gamer, that's one that's one of the best time-consuming hobbies you can have, because there's plenty of shit out there to eat away the hours of your life. Um, and that was like the only, that was basically the only good thing about it, is like, I was never, I never had a backlog of games. I never had, was sitting there with like, 20, 30 games in my library, waiting to be played, not having a clue of when I'm gonna play them. I also got a stack of, Jesus Christ, how high is that stack of books? I have that 13 or 14 that's 14 i have 14 motherfucking books right now on my backlog of books to read and even more technically there's even more i just haven't bought them yet because like there's there are books that are uh sequels like part of a series whether part of a trilogy or part of a longer series whatever that i've just been buying them as i get time to read them and so i haven't bought the entire series so then you also have to include uh the other the other version the third books fourth books whatever in those series on top of that list I don't got the time for it anymore. Now you're seeing why I can't record anymore. I don't got no time, man. Barely got time for myself, let alone reading 500 plus page books. Oh my god. One of them's huge, but one of them's actually like it's a trilogy. God damn these motherfuckers. One of them's a trilogy, like, it's just been combined into one book. It's just like, I don't know, you know, this series has been out for like 10 years, so they just put, a, put it all into one book and sold it that way. But, um... Yeah, man, it's, now my Steam library has gotten up above 60 games. I've played maybe, like, 15 of them. Let me actually check that shit out. Let me go while we're waiting here, because we're not going to see anything good here. So let's go check this out. Steam library. So we have... Let me actually just check and see how many I have installed right now. Oh, actually, it tells me, right? Installed. Yep, I have 32 games installed. And so that means I have 30... I have 65 games. So 32 games are installed. 33 I'm just sitting on. Whether those are games like I've tried and haven't liked. So let me go through those and see what I... Man, that connection looks like ass. I'm just looking, kind of glancing that out the corner of my eye. So let's see. One is The Binding of Isaac, which I have no reason to have The Binding of Isaac anymore now that I have Rebirth. Um, let's see. Yes. Actually, not as many as I thought. 
So out of those, out of those uh, 32, 33 uninstalled games, 16 of them are games that I have tried, and I'm just like, ah, right, whatever. I, they were on sale for a low price, and I thought I might enjoy them, and I ended up not enjoying them. And then out of the 32 that are installed, I have shit like the Banner Saga, which I can't wait to actually sit down and play, but I know it's going to take, that's going to be a long game, so I need the time for it. Binding of Isaac, obviously, I love that shit. Black Guards is another one that is going to take me a while. One is a surprise, potentially, maybe. I actually downloaded it solely to do a playthrough of it, but I don't know if I'm going to have time for a playthrough. Um, Cloud Built, which I have barely delved into. I think I played that for like 20 minutes. Seems fun, though. This one that I have no idea how to pronounce it. Kreuzler Sigma? Kreuzler Sigma? I don't know. Uh, People were comparing it to Devil May Cry in the review section of Steam. So I was like, oh, shit, I'll try that out. Why the fuck not? I love Devil May Cry. It is nothing like Devil May Cry. It is like the newer Devil May Cry if that was dumbed down even further. That, that would be a proper analogy to the quality. Why would you not throw that dude? Whatever. Um... Don't Starve, which I barely delved into, and I actually want to do some gameplay of that, because it's actually, it seems kind of fun, I just, I don't really, so far I haven't really seen, a, like, is there a point to that game besides literally the title, just Don't Starve? Like, is there anything that you're supposed to accomplish in that game, or is it just, like, how long can you survive? What can, how long can you do this for? Morrowind, FTL, which I've delved into quite a bit, Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions, which I love, god damn, Geometry Wars is so fun, but I actually hate all the new levels. There's, I mean, it's just, gaming has taught me more about myself than anything else, and that was just one of the worst resets I've ever seen, but holy shit, it worked. Who does a reset off of jumping heavy? Who still gets hit by light, medium, heavy? Berserker Slash? Berserker Slash? Yeah, that's, that's the name of the move. I can't remember the name of the move. Uh... Like the new 3D levels, where you're on, like, a square or a cylinder or something like that. I cannot, there is something with just how my vision and my brain works there, I cannot properly, like, see everything that's going on on that kind of screen, so it kind of sucks that I can't really delve into those other games, because I just, I can't do it. I just, I die to things, and I never, what? Why does that keep happening? I just keep seeing so many things, or I, like, I get killed by so many things that I never actually see coming. Oh, fuck me. And everybody left. And everybody left. This is a terrible sign. Hero Siege, which uh, is... It's a pretty fun game, but it's also complete and utter bullshit. You know what? I have a feeling this connection is just going to suck dick, so I'm not even going to try. Hotline Miami, which is very fun. Did I even continue talking about Hero Siege? Very fun game, but it is some bullshit. It is some bullshit, the shit you die to. Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. That was one of the first games to download. And I need to finish that. Wow, this is bullshit. All right. Nailed it. I was going to keep mashing buttons. Uh, let's see. Mark of the Ninja, which I haven't played yet, but I know I'm going to have fun with that because that's by the people that made Shank. One Way Heroics, which actually I probably should uninstall. I'm not particularly big on that game. Oregon Trail, Penny Arcade, two of those. Plants vs. Zombies, which I kind of enjoyed, but that was that game was way too damn easy. Yo, get fucked. Get fucked, son. Get fucked up. Did that just combo? Did her standing heavy just combo into standing short? Good job, dude. Well done. My hands actually starting to hurt a little bit now. <laughs> Uh, Records. Oh, never mind. That's a demo. Rise of Nations, which is again another game. It's just gonna be like ridiculously time-consuming. Uh, Risk of Rain, Rogue Legacy, Score Gasm, uh, Space Run, which I have not delved into at all. Both of the Knights of the Old Republic games, which I actually would like if I get the time for them. I would love to do playthroughs of those games. Those games, some of my favorite games of all time, right there. Sudeki, old uh, Xbox JRPG. Not incredibly good, but it was, you know, the nostalgia goggles. Why the fuck not? System Shock 2, which is another one that I would like to do a playthrough of. Yes, that was a great fight. Um, And Torchlight 2, which I... I loved playing Torchlight with a controller. I cannot do it with a mouse and keypad. I just, I can't do it. God damn. Alright, let's go. Beginners Unite.
Oops. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. But yeah, so I have so I have all of those games. That doesn't even include console games. Like in the past two weeks now, Dragon Age Inquisition, Pokemon, and um, uh, what was the oh Persona Q? Those have all come out. Those are all games that are ridiculously time consuming. My I clock my final clock in on Dragon Age. I beat the game, and um, that was around 60 hours. I want to say. Of course, it's always give or take with me. Like I don't actually know how long I spent because there was a bunch of time spent just completely idle. Um, you know, doing other stuff. I just accidentally left it running and forgot about it. And there were other times where um, they have this system. For those of you that haven't played it, uh, it's in all kinds of games now. The first time I actually uh, had anything like it was in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, um, where you have like a mission board. They call it the War Room, and you can send agents out on missions, and they take care of them for you. It's stuff that you can't do yourself. You know, like it's not an available side quest that you're just skipping by sending somebody else out to do it. It's stuff that is specifically tailored for that, uh, for the War Room board. And so, like I said, the main story of that game is so short that I kind of did, like, all the side stuff. All of the, I, it was actually, the game was incredible. Like, the game was a cakewalk for me on Nightmare Mode uh, because I had done all the side exploration I could possibly do before I continued on with the story. And all of the side exploration areas were like required a higher level than the story missions did so like since i did that i leveled up quickly i just destroyed everything during the story mission and so it took me no time at all to beat the story mission stuff and so as you continue on with the story mode you unlock more and more missions on that war room board and it requires a certain passage of time in order for them to complete that's all it is you just say go out on this mission and it takes a mandatory you know three four five hours however long to complete them and so once it got to once i continued on with the story and i kept unlocking more and more of those without having other side stuff to go out and do i just kind of let it sit there while the, you know the clock was ticking down for the war room stuff to continue on uh so i don't actually know how accurate that entire time is how long it actually took me to beat the game but that was easily a 50 plus hour game Persona Q, I have to assume if it's anything. I mean, it does seem like it's a lot easier than the Etrian Odyssey games, which is if those of you who may know about Persona Q, but you don't know about the Etrian Odyssey games, those are the games that this game is based off of. Uh, the exploration factor, however, Etrian Odyssey is a lot more freeform, uh, not really a story-based experience. It's more about the exploration and uh, character creation, character customization, all that shit. And, but... So far, Persona Q looks a hell of a... Not that it's easy, but it is easier than Etrian Odyssey ever was. Why does every online Morrigan mash Crouching Light Punch? Why do I say Crouching Light Punch? Crouching A. I, I just... I don't understand that. It's not even... It's like, it's not a mix-up. It's not that good of a move. And yet, everybody mashes it, which she could be doing so much else. But they just... See, they just sit there and they mash Crouching Light Punch until they get... I said light punch again. Until they get, um, push blocked out. See, like that. <laughs> Although, we are still in Marvel territory. God, you fucking shell kick. So why don't you just mash on that shit? Can't go, can't ever go wrong with shell kick. I can't believe shell kick just completely neutralized Spencer's projectile. Yo, come on, son! You she was obviously not gonna block that. I have to dash forward first. What are you do? I'm assuming he's trying to do the grapple. He's just painful. Why am I here? This is not gonna end well. Like, no matter what I do, he would never have converted off of that. It's a good thing that killed, because he was not gonna continue that combo. Well done. Full screen Shapuga, why not? You know, fuck this. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't I can't even watch this, let alone play this.